everybody, my name is Kayla, and today I am doing my amazing birthday book haul. As I said before, this is not organized in any way, I'm just showing you books. So the first one here, actually I'll grab this one, is Me or on the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. This is actually the book I'm reading with my friend and my sister, and we'll do, we're will we doing book lot, blah, blah, blah. We're vlogging as we read this to kind of get our first impressions of it, and then we'll do a book review and then we're gonna going to go watch the movie together and do a movie, I mean a book to movie adaptation video talking about what we think of it and everything. And I'm really excited about this. We're on chapter 10 so far and we're literally taking turns reading it out loud because we see each other pretty pretty often. So we're taking turns reading it out loud and having a blast with it. It's really enjoyable and I'm really excited about that. The next book I have is Emma and the Vampires by Jane Austen and Wayne jo Josephson. I'm really excited about this one as I've been trying to get into Jane Austen I've, as I've never read any of her books and I think this would be a good intro into her as it's not just her writing but somebody else is writing in a more YA kind of way and so I'm really excited about this. The next book I have is Keeping the Moon by Sarah Dustin. I've already read this book but I just didn't own it. It was actually the first book I read by Sarah Dustin and now I own it. And I really, this is the newer cover but I really do like it. Uh, the next book I have is Have a Nice Day by Julie Hepburn. Uh, this book, I know it's about a girl with a um, mental illness who just got back from a mental hospital and she's trying to get back to her normal life and it looks really interesting and I like this cover, it's very, it kind of shows that she's trying to be normal but I don't know, I'm like, I'm really excited about that. The next book I have is Tempest by Julie Cross. As you can see, I'm kind of rushing because the last two reasons why my videos, one of them is because I just talked really slow, it wasn't very exciting. But then one of them was like really, really, really long, and so I'm trying to not talk fast, but go fast. Again, I make no sense. Anyways, this is a time travel book that I'm really excited about. It's about a, well, I can read you the little back thingy. Today, Jackson and Holly are in love. Tomorrow, she will lie dying in his arms. Yesterday, he must undo it all. The next book I have is A Nightmare Fair by Mindy Arnett. This is a book, this is a book, if you're wondering. But this is about a girl who's literally a nightmare. Like, she's literally a nightmare. She crawls into people's windows and, like, goes into their brains and is a nightmare. She doesn't want to be or something. I like this cover. I don't understand the meaning of this, but I'm guessing when I read it, I will. The next book is Foretold by Karen Ryan. This, it, well, actually, it's 14 stories of prophecy and prediction. Heather Brewer, Meg, Meg Cabot, Matt V. Le Pen, Salmon Elkies, Cammy Garcia, Michael Grant, Melinda Lowe, Lisa McMahon, Rochelle Mead, Sandra Mitchell, Di Diana Petrofrand. Carrie Ryan, Margaret Stoll, and Lanny Taylor. I'm really excited about this, and I cannot wait to read it all. It'll be a good one to read around Halloween and everything, and it has a lot of authors I really like, and so I'm really excited about that one. The next book I have is Hungry by H.A. Swan. This is about, it's an, a dystopian book where in the future there's no food. You get your, like, nutrition other ways until one girl starts feeling hungry for the first time. For, like, it's the first person in years, and I don't know what's going to happen, but I really like this cover. And I've heard a lot of great things from it. One of my cousins read this and really loved it, and I've wanted to read it for a while. The next book, by the way, thank you to everybody. Well, you, but thank you to all the gifts I got. Not all of them were books. I got a really awesome journal and some cool pen, a really awesome fountain pen, and some awesome necklaces. This is actually one of my birthday gifts I got from Charlotte and Chloe, a close friend. Oh, I twisted it. There you go. But, um, I was gonna show all those things, but it just got that much longer and that much more time trying to do that. So I'm not doing that, but thank you to everybody. It means a lot. All of, like, the thoughtful gifts, gifts I got, I got a lot of beautiful, awesome things. And I just want to thank everybody, even if you're not in this video because you didn't give me a book. I am so thankful for your thing. I was gonna show your awesome things. But I don't have time for all of that. But thank you to everybody. It was it means so much. And it was an awesome birthday party. And we're definitely going to have to do that. It was a pool party. And it was just... Anyways, next book is Curl Online by Zoe Sugg. Um, this is the first novel by Zoella, who is a booty, beauty guru blogger person who's really popular. And this is a book about a girl who has pretty much her diary online, but nobody knows it's her until I think somebody finds out it's her. Uh, looks really interesting. And I like the cover with the Polaroid. Polaroid. Polaroid pictures. The next book I got is Begonia by Maria de Havana Headley. I butchered that so bad. 
this one is about a girl who like can't breathe like literally has to go to the hospital all the time because she just can't breathe and then she ends up traveling to a different world and ends up realizing that she's from that world and that's where she couldn't breathe and just decide if she wants to go back to her home and her family or be able to breathe finally and I've heard this compared to Lanny Taylor's writing and I absolutely love Lanny Taylor and so I'm hoping this will give me a taste of her writing again because I absolutely love the Daughter Smoke and Bone trilogy and cannot wait to read Foretold because it's got her writing in it. <laughs> but I'm excited about that one. The next book I got is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. Um, by the way, some of these were not given to me. They were gift cards. They were given to me and I bought books just to explain that. This was a gift card. Some of them were. Anyways, doesn't matter. I just thought I'd... This book is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I've not read any Sarah J. Maas's writing. I have Thorn of Glass. Throne of Glass, not Thorn of Glass. <laughs> that would hurt. Um, well, I guess a Throne of Glass part two. I mean, if you like, it's not wouldn't be very comfortable. Anyways, Throne of Glass, I just haven't had a chance to read it. And now I have this, and this, I love retellings, and so I'm probably going to read this first and get myself into the mood of that. What was my hand doing? I don't, into the mood of that, and then read that. But I've heard so many good things. Ow. Um, and so I'm really, really excited. And book talks, most of these books will have book talks. But anyways, next book. Kissing Shakespeare by Pamela Mingeli. Uh, this one is a time travel book where pretty much Miranda travels back in time and kisses Shakespeare. There's other aspects, obviously, but it looks very interesting, and I am excited about it. And I like this cover, and the back of the cover is really pretty. I feel like it's going to fall. The next book I got is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. I actually... Why are they different areas? That Summer and Someone Like You by Sarah Dustin. I owned both of these books, by, but I own them in the movie book thing because Sarah Dustin has a movie call out. I don't know if you knew this because I didn't know this until a while until I started reading, but it's been a while. But it's not, it's got, I cannot remember her name. But anyways, it's a movie, but it's a combination of these two books, like, into one movie. And so I own the combination book thing where it's that summer and someone like you in one book and so I wanted to own them separately and my sister knew that and magically awesomely got these for me. Many of these are from my sister because we did this where we only bought each other books for her birthday because hers is June 17th, mine's June 26th and she went on Book Outlet and bought me so many books. It's amazing and awesome and I love you so much sister. Anyways, I'm so excited about these. I've already read them but I'm happy to own them and the covers are really pretty. The next book, whoa, the next book I got is uh, Keep Me in Your Heart by Laureen McDaniel. It has three novels in it, Saving Jessica, Telling Christina Goodbye, and Letting Go of Lissa. They're all sadder, contemporary, like Saving Jessica is about, oh, Jessica, Saving Jessica ends up finding out that the girl Jessica gets diagnosed with kidney failure, Telling Christina Goodbye, uh, uh, they get into a car accident, Letting Go of Lissa. She, something happens with Lissa and somebody and sadness, but happiness, because obviously it has to end well. It has to. Anyways, I think this is going to be a really good, interesting contemporary read, and I'm really excited about it. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah gave this to me. Um, but I'm really excited about that. Next book is Sanctalite, um, and this is the first in the Light Creed trilogy. It is a book about a girl who ends up getting powers by Tracy Clark. I'm really excited about this one. I like, it looks really interesting and I'm in the mood to read a like sci-fi-y fantasy -y book and so this looks really interesting. I like the cover as well. It's gonna end up falling on me. The next book I have is actually three books and it's Until the End by Christopher Pike and it's got The Party, The Dance, and The Graduation. It is three books into one obviously and it's a whole trilogy and it's this psychological thriller about pretty much I think it starts where it's at a party and people get murdered and then they end up going to a dance and people get murdered and then they graduate and people get murdered but it looks really interesting and this cover is really freaky wait ready wait. yeah <laughs> I'm gonna make a new pile there we go uh, the next book I got is The Cage by Megan Shepard. This is actually the book. I have a book talk coming out super soon, so you should check that out. I really enjoyed this, and I'm really excited about it. This is about 
a girl named Cora who ends up waking up in the desert and no idea where she's at and there's five other, four other teens there who also have no idea where they're at and they end up finding out that they are in a different planet with aliens captured in a cage where they want to kind of study how they live and so yeah and Cora, all the others kind of some of them start to accept and be like okay I mean there's food there's stuff games we'll just live and Cora's like uh no earth earth that's a bad exclamation but pretty much it's pretty much I really enjoyed this though and again books out coming soon next book I got was <coughs> Cress by Marissa Meyer. I, by Marissa Meyer, the third in the Luna Chronicles. I, I absolutely, I really enjoyed Cinder. I loved Scarlet, and I think I'm going to love this even more. I feel like her writing just keeps getting better, and the characters she keeps adding, oh my gosh, they're amazing, and I'm just so excited about this one, and cannot wait to continue reading it. I'm about 100 pages in. I'm reading so many books right now, it's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Anyways, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, the next book also I got. really excited about it and it is digital yeah, yeah, yeah. Digi digital SLR cameras and photography for dummies by David D Bush um I think so um I have a Nikon D80 and I've been practicing with uh photography and I really enjoy it and I am hoping to be a photographer actually if you want to check out some of my photos of my link below for my blog um but I am really excited about this book because I like reading about photography and learning more about it and so this is a perfect one for me to read. Did I just call myself a dummy? Anyways, um, but I'm really excited about this. It seems like it's going to have some really interesting stuff to talk about and I'll probably do a video me talking about everything in this and what I learned from it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Life happens and it's hard to do things when life happens. So I'm going to say make up the eyes now and then I'm going to hold the books. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful summer. And by the way, thank you to everyone who subscribed. My giveaway video is coming soon, hopefully. I, it was originally, let me just explain this real quick. It was originally a birthday giveaway. Then I hit 50 subscribers, so I was going to be like, oh, it'll be a birthday giveaway and a thank you for 50. Then I had 100, and I was like, oh, it could be a thank you for all of the things. And now I'm at 130 something. I was at 35 before this one video that I did, my um, early June book haul, and I have so many people who have found me through that, and I just want to thank everybody who subscribed to me. It means so much, and I will have this giveaway. It's coming, and it's going to be awesome. I'm, it's going to be awesome, but I just haven't had a chance to figure out all the things, and so I will do it, but... I have to wait and figure it all out, and I promise it's coming sometime in life. I just, again, need to figure everything out, but thank you everybody who subscribed to me, and if you haven't, please do, and or at least...